good morning afternoon guys yeah it's just at the turn it's 12 o'clock um so i thought i'd do my video um and it's day 99 of the 100 day project and i know today is inspired by peter rabbit Super, oh beatrix potter not exactly no oh here we go oh lucky i turned to that red Liz 61 that was her suggestion her suggestion let me write that down red Liz. just so I remember um, so I got another Mrs. Cog kit uh, why you know why go and search for them she's got the kits put together for you they're quite small images they've just printed on regular copy paper and I got the tale of Benjamin Bunny um, <coughs> from Mrs. Cog so I was wondering what to do and I thought maybe We'll do some window tags. So my first job, I don't need this yet. This is my little In Love Arts one. So, And I've got my little die cuts ready. So I'm a little bit organised that fit in this little die cut machine. But what I want to do first are a few um, collaged pieces of paper. Oh, this is what I'll collage this piece of Daphne's diary. That's what I'll do. And I just want to put, I'm going to put fairly plain things um, on it. I don't know if I'll put that because um because did i press record oh gosh ding dong having a ding dong moment already only just started so i'm just thinking i'm going to create just a nice quick background quick as i can go this is a very small piece of paper but it'll do the, it'll be a good start Put a bit of glue here floating around that's nearly finished can't believe tomorrow is the last day i kind of need a break guys because um it does consume quite a bit of my day actually with my thoughts and what to do and you know as you know like organizing um kits and things like that and i didn't have to prepare kits but quite a lot of the sort of suggestions made me feel like i needed to search for stuff so um I um it did actually end up taking quite a lot of my time and I need to really catch up with things I'm really behind and I'd like to you know do new things so um I can't do any of that until the 100 day project is over now that does not mean that I now some of you are new and have been enjoying the 100 day projects um that doesn't mean I just automatically disappear unfortunately I don't just disappear for you guys I will be hanging about um doing other videos um, <clears throat> I might miss a day or two here or there that's all that's all it means when the 100 day project finishes just miss a day or two occasionally put that one down there so I'm going to use up my scraps got all these glue book pages here that they dry so then I just use them again might even have some book page. I want to have some of this book page. I know that book page is sticky. I don't want that one. I'll fold that one over. And that one can be laid to rest. And we'll have a bit of this book page, I think. And that's going to go maybe like this. So I'm going to rip some off there. I've got too much. That there and then I'll put something over that bit there so as you know you can't use um, Daphne's diaries for things that you sell you can use it in your personal projects I think because they don't own the art um, I think Gail last they don't own the rights to the artwork so that's why they don't allow you to use them even if you re use the recycle and use the original pages um, but you certainly can use them as glue pages and or, and use them as a base and totally cover them up you can do that i'm going to put that one upside down there why not so i hope everybody is well today it's going to be 
27 degrees here, so not too bad. It's kind of cool. It got really cool last night. It was like 13 degrees or something. So, um, yes, makes it very pleasant the next day when it gets cool. It's cool like that at night. So many scraps to use, but they're all the same size, and we don't want them all the same. So I'll put that one there. So I'm trying to go as fast as I can. whilst at the same time trying to do an okay job. And then we're going to cut it down. And um, we're going to make the base for these tags. And, um, and then we're going to have something going over the top. Okay, and then we can put something like, well, why don't I put this one along the bottom there? No, I'll put that one along, no, yes, up there. Okay, so, um, it's kind of these are kind of plain. These ones we'll put these aside. Let's see what else we've got in here in our bag of tricks. Okay, let's see what's in here. Well, oh, here's some nice paper just sitting around. Why don't we put some of this down? What you up to, Lily? I was trying to fix my fix my pants because the this one the string came out. Oh. And it was really struggling. Oh yeah, you need you have to have a. I had a pencil and I tied it to the pencil. <laughs> you need a safety pin. You could have just no, asked me. No. I could have given you a safety pin and you could have threaded it through. Or it's harder with a safety. Pin. No, it's not. That's, well, how, well, that's how you do it. I'm actually covering up that book page I've decided. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's me. I put it down and cover it up. Yeah. Why not? Make a bit more work for myself. Yeah. Oh, I was covering it up, wasn't I? Say one. Let's say one thing and do enough. Do the opposite. Why not? in there. I think I've got some more floating around over here. Oh, we've got some music paper. What about a bit of music paper? Put that there. I seem to be avoiding the centre.
don't think I want that one right now. Anything else floating around that should be used? Okay, no, not there. I have some of these papers. I don't want anything with too much of a pattern going on because it's mostly going to be covered up. That that way. Oh, good one. Not a chitty chatty video today because I haven't done much. Just trying to think if there's anything that I had to tell you. I don't think so. We might stick this one down somewhere as well, just to now that I've torn it, or we'll stick that there, I think. I was going to glue that one down. That way. What well, does fit in there, doesn't it? I wasn't going to put it there, but I keep changing my mind today. That must be just how it's going to be. Rip that bit off. I just like the way it fills the space a little bit better. And we might use this. Great. Almost does it. We just put a little piece in there. Yeah, anything floating around. There's certainly plenty of paper floating around, I must say. I've got these beautiful Nostalgia Graphic Rant lamp. I think this paper would be lovely right there, even though it's not a scrap. I'm going to put that right there. Yes, very nice. Okay, so that's the front covered, I think. Yep. Now the back, I'm just going to cover it with um, tea dyed paper. Now we've got a nice, strong piece. This is the one that I used in my thing the other day. Now me, I'm just going to cover it up. Now this side is very grandy for me, so I'm going to use this side. And I'm just going to glue that all there. So I need to make sure I get plenty of glue on here. And then I'll patch it. I always inevitably, inevitably get an air bubble somewhere. But I'll try my best to cover it. Yep, I do prefer this side. And lovely. Right. I need to do some more. I've been doing a little bit of um, tea dyeing, but I need to do more because in the winter, you have to bake it in the oven and you, you can't use your plastic doilies for that. Um, whereas in the summer, it just dries so quickly and it doesn't go mouldy and all that sort of thing. Just make sure it's all glued down. Pop it there. Okay. 
Okay, and then we need a little bit more. And I had those strips here they are. Well, we won't put those ones, but these, these will be good. do I have? Oh, I've got some. I could rip that. No, I don't want to collage that one. This, no, not this one. Oh, dear me. This one. And then we need a strip along there. And I'm just using up my scraps here. I'm going to actually rip that bit off. And this idea, although we've done this sort of thing before, is um, also inspired by um, Tracy and her um, fabrication video. I just watched one the other yesterday, and she'd done these um, tags that had a window, and then another tag slid, slid in it. That's what I wanted to do because I haven't done that. I've, sometimes I don't just do a window that you can see right through or I've done a window that you put something in but it's all closed if you know what I mean so this is my base Tracy used her her bases from her digital kit but I'm just going to use this base that I've created I'm going to grab my big cutter and now I need to be careful here I don't want to cut them too small because they need to fit a tag and a window so let's see so these are going to be the windows. Let me just see here. For example, the window is about six centimeters. So I need my tags to be about not quite eight, seven and a half, maybe. What I might do, well, that I wanted them to be about that long, I think. Yeah, or even a bit longer, maybe 14 in. So I'm left with this little piece that can be used for something else. So what I want to do, I think I'm going to cut this 14 centimeters. So then I can have a pot, those that can be cut in half, or I can use that for a tag. So, and then this is going to be right yeah um seven and a half oh, how big is this we'll just halve it oh yeah seven and a half will do perfect so these are my bases and then here i can have another base i think or will i do two pockets i think i'll do two pockets two pockets this one they can be two pockets okay so we don't waste anything We'll look at these ones and that that's the back that's how the back turned out 
and the back on. Oh, well, they actually they they've got backing on them, but that's what that's why sometimes I don't back things straight away. So these are tags, and then I was thinking, I was wondering if I had, if I can find my papers here. They assist them. Yes, if I had any of these, let's just pull them all out. See what I have that would be nice as a front. Not that one. That will be. And that will be. That might be. That's just a paper. Won't use that one, won't use that one. Oh, these might be good. Good way to use up these too, if they go. That's good. You can see it's been near my garbage bin. Things have been dropping into it. It might be a bit brown, but we'll have a look at that. nearly there maybe that'll be enough goes away okay let's see how we're going oh I might fall off my chair now I want them to be very slightly smaller than my tag, I think. That one's nice. So if I cut that, here's my pencil. I put everything away last night. I tied it up. Now I can't find things. Here it is. it there and there let's see what happens can't see my markings there they are okay Let's just do one and see what happens. These over here, so we don't lose those. Just want to see what happens. So if that's going to be my thing there. See which one of these will go best on here. That one's going to be bit too big that one will work this one will work why don't I do that one so we'll get some washi tape now I'm going to do the trick that's been recommended to me and just take a bit of the sticky off by putting it on my pants and then ripping it off that might be better. so I'm going to tape it on here so it doesn't move hopefully I've got it reasonably straight I like the little mesh yep that's good just you can keep that out and make that into a tab or something 
So you'll be able to see in there. So I'm going to put some acetate quickly. I'll just use this one. And I'll just use it singularly. So I'll just put this. Where's the thing? I put this on here. Cut it bigger than that. So this is just one of the, um, um, you know, plastic sleeves that you, you know, do for keeping documents and things. And I'm just going to put a little bit, I don't want to put too much glue, just a little bit of glue around here. And you've seen me do this a million times. And I'm not going to stitch around these, I don't think. And then just push out and you can push a little bit that way if you want to i don't have too much around there but i want it more coming out here because you want it to stick down well now, i don't know what i've done with my towel i had a towel oh there it is it's dry, but it'll still wipe it off. Wipe off the excess. Okay, and we'll trim across here. And that's going to be my window. Oh, I like that. And then what I'm going to do is also, I'm going to wait a second. I won't need to glue that in place. And then I'm going to make a tag. So I've got this blue piece of paper. I think this is going to be perfect. And I'm going to trim it where it universe is. So that will slide in there. So all I need to do with this is I need to cover it with a pretty paper. I've got this pretty Nostal Geographic lamb. Why don't I just cover it in that? Cover the back. Okay, so that's that. That's going to be the front. This is going to be the back. And so I need to grab some of that. Okay, I'll just grab some multi dyed paper. Good way to recycle those notepads that people give you. You know, like that, that this was a, I, t I said it was a windows and fixtures company that gave them, gave it to my husband. And I think he gets so many, he just says, do you want, a, do you want any paper? And so he brings it home. And I'm like, it's not very pretty paper. And that, But then I um, tea dyed it and now I like it. Okay, so that's the front here. That way, or that way, put it that way. And now we're going to get our subject. So which one? Then I'm going to grab this, you see, here. And I'm going to see which one do I like. Oh, I like that one in there. Or do I like that? Oh, so cute. 
Aren't they cute? You see, this was the thought. I think I like that one. So I'm going to grab that one. And I'm actually going to just carefully tear around it. Because remember, this is going to be a tag that will be pulled out. So you want it to look okay when you pull it out. So we're going to have the torn look. Look at that. Oh, so cute. I've got to make sure I put it in the right spot. Yeah, that'll work. There. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put a whale towel on if I can get them. Or you can have any type of tab, really. So I'll glue that on for now. I will be stitching around. I think I finished that one. So put that one over there. I'll glue it on and then afterwards I'll stitch around it. Just about. I don't want to cover up his tail. I think I'll just put it down there. There's no rules to say that I have to. Oh, I stuck it on the wrong way this minute. That I have to put it in the middle. to be good now the next job is to yeah, that's good now the only thing I need to trim off the bits that aren't glued down because they'll catch what you getting ready for Lily wearing long pants because it was cold. Oh, okay. Yes, there is a bit of a cool breeze coming in. I don't even have the window open, but I'm cool. Whatever, still. So I'll link, sorry, Lou, I'm, I'll just say something quickly. I'll link um, Tracy's uh, video that I haven't finished watching yet, but I watched some of it. I actually didn't see how she constructed them. <laughs> I haven't finished. So that's that. That goes on there, and I will stitch around that. And then this is going to slip in, in theory. I might have to trim it down. No, that's going to slip in there. That's so cute. I'm really happy with that. And then I'm going to cut. I want it to be a tag shape, but I didn't cut it before because then it's too messy figuring it all out, whereas Tracy had her digitals that sort of... A bigger tag and a smaller tag that fit each other okay that's going to be super cute and then of course we can um, put something here like we could have um, a label we could have maybe let's just have a look at these images I don't think we want any more images we could have maybe a little butterfly or something floating around here there's, see oh there's I don't want my hair there put that there maybe a little bit of um, collage because it's quite a busy background throw that out
So with this particular paper, it was a big expanse of the same thing. So I'm thinking a bunny, uh, not a bunny, a butterfly. I uh, just wanted to see if there was anything a bit brighter. No. I'll use the original one that I thought. Or this one. Blends in too much. Okay, so we'll glue that butterfly down. You could put a flower there, big label, whatever you like. And this one was sticking a butterfly. Okay, so I'll put those aside. The other thought I was thinking it'd be nice to um, do the little semicircle there. I don't know if I'll be able to do that now. I'll wait for it to dry anyway, and then I'll give it a go. If I can't, I'll just leave it. So they go together. Um, so we'll do another one. So where are my... Oh, I put them over here so I wouldn't lose them. I mean, they're pretty backgrounds. It's a shame to cover them up. But anyway, this is the plan. So let's see, what do we have here? I already like the green. Oh, that's too busy, I think. That one, purple. I like those colours. Okay, that's already okay, that width. I might just trim it down a tiny bit and I'm going to slip it down there. There we go. I already know where I have to cut this one. Get a little bit smaller, and I just want to trim a teeny tiny bit off there just to make sure it's not too wide. A little bit more. So, we want a hint of our background. Okay. Now, let's put that there. I need to see which of these I'm going to cut out to find my plates. Okay, so we might use, let's see, put that over there. Is this going to be okay? This one's going to be good. Now, do, what image would I put in there? That one. Okay, I'm going to do this one. So it's a bigger window this time. And I think about like it about there. And so I'm going to washi tape it. It's not super fast ephemera to make because I've got a few bits to do, but it's fun. going to go there or do I like it? No, I like it there. I can see the writing a little bit. So I'm going to put that one there and I said this image here and I just need to create a tag again. And I have these um, glue book pieces just floating around that I'm using so I'm going to cut it off about there and then I'll see that's going to be enough and I might just trim off a little bit on this side as well just a tiny bit yep so making it smaller um, especially top and bottom than the the smaller part of the tag so that way um, I've got room to be able to um, slide it in and I'm just looking around here I need to grab a pretty piece of I put that one in there. Just using the scraps. So 
that's that. That's our background. And then I need this image here. Oh, I should glue in my acetate first before I go any further. So that way um, that's done. Just grab my frame. Here it is. No, that's not my frame. Where's it gone? Hmm. Anyway, this is about the same size, this one. So I'll cut this. I'll look at this one. should get this bit done first so it has oh maybe I like that side more no I like the original side I was gonna glue that down I need this Okay, and now we're going to trim off the excess. I think that's easier. Nothing to trim off there. I might make this one, I have to remember, I might make it open on the other side. Let's get rid of the excess. So that can dry for a second, and now we'll do this. So I think I'll back that with my paper. In this case I like the other side more. Don't want the writing though. Move it down a bit. Okay. And I did have a card but I can't find it so I'll just do it like this. So you could do this without gluing in the acetate, but um, I just like the look of it because it looks like they're kind of behind a window. What's the time, Lulu? Okay. and I need to carefully tear around this let's see we want it in the right spot so just about there okay There, I'm going to put a whale towel. Anybody take care? Yeah. yeah. I'm just looking for one. Oh, what's this one? Oh, that's pretty. Doesn't go with that. That does though. Or, this might be good. 
I think this one's good. And I'm going to put that one in the middle this time. Oh, I said I was going to open it on the other side. So that means I'll glue it Oops, on this side. Okay, so that I'm going to, I've got to be careful because I said I'm going to open it on the other side, so I've got to go this way. Oh, but I thought I might do what Tracy did. She put in um, a piece of fabric here, which I really liked as well. Um, what colour would I like? Maybe a piece of this. I am going to stitch it. I'm just going to put a bit of glue there. Okay, and now I can glue this. And then that will slide in there. So we'll just let that dry for a minute and then we'll have a look at it. And we'll do maybe one more. So this one's nice and plain. So the choice is I do, I quite like that one. Might as well use that. Or do I keep that for a pocket maybe? Oh, there that is. We'll do one with a round window. No, those don't fit. Okay. Let me just put the rejects down there. Too busy. Not quite the right colour. All of these papers are stamped for reacts, except there might be a couple of Tim Holtz. If I see one, I'll tell you. Are oh, these ones now? These are Tim Holtz. Oh, I didn't decorate the front of that other one, but we'll have a look at that in a minute. Like that, one, like that one, I think I'm gonna like this one. It's not quite long enough. That one. Maybe this one. Let's use this one. I dropped my pencil on the floor. I know that. Okay. So that's still marking. Right there. And then here. do that I think we'll do is that going to be one oh, that's too big that one we've done what windows have we done that one and that one so maybe we'll do that one but let's see what you need to go in there nicely cute cute I do like that one, like in there, or that one. I think I'll do that one, or that one. Or 
even something like that. No, it's too wide. Okay, we'll do, I think, this one. No, that one. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'm using the same piece of washi, washi tape to hold it. This image, so I just grab that now. Okay, maybe instead of no, I don't think I want to use that. I was going to use that maybe as my background, but I might use this one. Okay, so let's glue in our acetate first if I can find where I threw it. Here. Just opening it up because it's attached. Okay, grab my little thing and just see here. Round about how big I need it. Good idea to pick up yes, yeah, tape rubbish and throw it out straight away, otherwise it just um, gets in the way. Like you can't see it, that's what I meant to say. Kind of disappears on your table. Found my card. Okay, I'm making sure I'm gluing down my edges, as I said before, and as Tracy said, because we are gluing things in. Now, that piece over there for the last one, but I won't do that one on video because we're taking a long time. I need to cut this down. So, um, this is my pocket, and I'm leaving, you know, I've got to leave an, an amount of space on either side for gluing. So... about there and then here I need to again leave space for gluing so I'm going to put it about there I'm going to cut it little tag that's on the other side now or maybe I'll, I don't know now I only have a little window here so I don't need this to be too big I think I'm going to cover that up Blue in there nicely. Okay, good. And that side's got a little flower on it, so we'll grab that.
chuck it on the floor okay and now i've got to sort this out oh isn't that cute on i like that on that color let me see my window here oh it's going to be great okay so i'll just glue that there hand side just want to see what sorts of colors isn't that cute um, maybe this one We might leave this one up here for something different. Let's have a look at this one. I did like that coming out. Oh, I need to snip that one too. I'm going to snip that one. I didn't feel like this one really needed anything else because the paper is so pretty. Um, you could you could um put a label on there so anyway we'll do that in a second i need to glue that one down now We'll trim that. So I've done mine a little bit differently to Tracy's, but um, you can watch her video because she shows how she did hers. Um, now, I haven't done the last one, but I'll just show you these. I can probably, which way is that one opening there? So this one will slide in here like so. There we go. That isn't that cute. So it's a tag with another tag in it. Oh, like that. So I don't want to put them, leave them in, um, but I want to show you what they look like inside. I don't want to leave them in there because um the glue still drying. That one's super cute. I love the colours. So there's that one. And then the, the glue is a bit wet here, but we'll give it a go. Oh, this one I made a bit smaller. So, and that's that one. So super, super cute. And I do like it with the little thingy up the top as well. So yeah, I'll stitch around those and then I'll put photographs, um, you know, at the end of the video. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. That's my Inspired by Beatrix Potter. And I am going to head off to the post office. Bye. Hi, guys. So I'm back. So something uh, came apparent to me when I was stitching around them. So I thought it best if I get on the camera and tell you. I did the last one. I think this was the last one. Okay. So um, this is the last one here. I put a Tim Holtz paper. That was one of my collage papers that I made in the video. And that's the back. The one thing that did come become apparent to me. So I zigzagged around there very close to the edge so as not to lose too much space in there and I just did a little straight stitch down here okay so I was very careful not to close that so what I did after that was I realized um, it's a good idea so do you decide what side you want it to open and straight stitch down there before you do anything else um, I think that's the best way oh look that one's open it hasn't glued down properly okay so I have to fix that I need to glue that um, and so anyway that's the last card that I made and it goes in there 
Um, and then this one I added a, was this the last one I made? This is the last one I made here. Sorry about that. That I made that one on the video. I put a little label there and this one I did stitch down here first. And I did, I was able to get my little thumbnail, my little thing in there to create that as well. And I did like doing that afterwards. Oh, they're coming unstuck. I need to, oh, I see that. That um, plastic doesn't stick very well. I need to use the other type. Okay, I'll just get some E6000 um, glue and, and glue those in so they don't come up. But that's the last one I did. And then there's this, because I didn't stitch around them. Normally I do, but I didn't feel like I had enough space around them to stitch around them. So that's that one there. So I've zigzagged around three sides and the other side I went straight. So that is my project for today. Just wanted to explain to you about my stitching and I'll photograph these and then I'll put the video together and post it. So thank you for watching. Bye.